plaque psoriasis was originally thought to be a disorder driven primarily by dysregulated skin cell proliferation. However, years of research have revealed that plaque psoriasis is actually a disorder of the immune system, driven primarily by dysregulated T cells. Today, biologic agents are one of the treatments used to treat plaque psoriasis. The first biologic agents focused on controlling broad inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrosis factor, TNF. However, newer treatments began to target specific T cell pathways. These pathways include two main targets, regulatory cytokines such as IL-23 and IL-12, and effector cytokines such as IL-17. Recent findings suggest that the IL-23-TH17 axis is one of the key pathways involved in the pathogenesis of psoriasis. Looking more closely at IL-23, interaction of this cytokine with its receptor triggers the differentiation, proliferation, and survival of these T-cells. The cytokines produced by these T-cells stimulate inflammation and keratinocyte proliferation. IL-23 has become an important target in developing biologic therapies for plaque psoriasis. Introducing Tremphia Guselcumab, an interleukin-23 blocker indicated for the treatment of adult patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis who are candidates for systemic therapy or phototherapy. Tremphia is a human monoclonal IgG1 lambda antibody that selectively binds to the P19 subunit of IL-23 and inhibits its interaction with the IL-23 receptor, thereby inhibiting the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. Tremphia reduced serum levels of IL-17A, IL-17F, and IL-22 relative to pretreatment levels in evaluated subjects with psoriasis based on exploratory analysis of the pharmacodynamic markers. The relationship between these pharmacodynamic markers and the mechanisms by which Tremphia exerts its clinical effects is not fully understood. Tremphia selectively targets and binds with high specificity and affinity to IL-23, making it the first of its kind among biologic therapies. Important safety information. Infections. Tremphia may increase the risk of infection. Treatment with Tremphia should not be initiated in patients with a clinically important active infection until the infection resolves or is adequately treated. Consider the risks and benefits of treatment prior to prescribing Tremphia in patients with a chronic infection or a history of recurrent infection. Instruct patients receiving Tremphia to seek medical help if signs or symptoms of clinically important chronic or acute infection occur. If a patient develops a clinically important or serious infection or is not responding to standard therapy, closely monitor and discontinue Tremphia until the infection resolves. Pre-treatment evaluation for tuberculosis, TB. Evaluate patients for TB infection prior to initiating treatment with Tremphia. Initiate treatment of latent TB prior to administering Tremphia. Monitor patients for signs and symptoms of active TB during and after Tremphia treatment. Do not administer Tremphia to patients with active TB infection. Immunizations. Prior to initiating Tremphia, consider completion of all age-appropriate immunizations according to current immunization guidelines. Avoid use of live vaccines in patients treated with Tremphia. Adverse reactions. Most common, greater than or equal to 1% adverse reactions associated with Tremphia include upper respiratory infections, headache, injection site reactions, arthralgia, diarrhea, gastroenteritis, tinea infections, and herpes simplex infections. Please see the full prescribing information and medication guide for Tremphia. Provide the medication guide to your patients and encourage discussion.